welcome to the new Solarola headquarters. So we've moved our shop space and now we have more room. More room for more goodies. More motors, more vans, more scooters, more solar cell phone chargers. Whatever we have, we have space for it now. And we also have nice high ceilings so that when we build the tops for the vans, we can pop them up and do all the experimentation and design that we need to do. So I would like to introduce you to our next project. We're really excited to be doing a project for Redfu. If you don't know who Redfu is, is look him up. I went down to uh, Malibu and met with Redfu and his girlfriend Jasmine and they are some cool folks. And they are the perfect couple for us to build a van for. So we're really excited to build this art piece for them. So we're gonna build this year, 1971, um, transporter into a camper not just a camper, a fully electric solar powered camper. Now this isn't just going to have a few panels on top. It's going to have solar awnings that come out the side. And it's these solar awnings that come out the side that are really going to give us the kind of power we need to really make a solar electric vehicle viable. We're going to have about 3000 watts of solar when we're done facing in the sun. So it's going to provide a lot of power for these Tesla Model S battery packs that we're going to be putting in the vehicle. So we're going to put in seven of these packs. They are about five kilowatt hours each. So that gives us 35 to 37 right in there kilowatt hours, which in this vehicle will give us about 100 miles. We have the gasoline engine out and it's the hardest part. It's the dirty part. I'm so glad it's over. No more gas, no more oil, no more antifreeze. And we get to go from that ugly gnarly thing to this gorgeous little electric motor. It's the net gain Hyper 9, so it bolts right up to the uh, Volkswagen transaxle. And uh, what's really neat is that motor being as small as it is, it's going to end up the motor itself being right about here, which is below where this pan is going to go. So you're going to have basically a nice big open trunk space. It's going to be really nice to be able to carry um, your supplies when you're camping or, or whatever you need to carry with you. But uh, I've fitted everything, so everything has actually been fitted in already, but I take it out so that I can work on various areas and I need to do a bunch of buffing and painting before I reassemble everything. So now I'm going to start on the battery box. So take a look at one of our um, Tesla Model S battery modules. They came out of a Tesla Model S, about a year old. So they're just broken in and ready for action. They've been bench tested. All right, so the chargers are dilithium design through Thunderstruck motors. They're awesome. I've used two of them uh, for years now. You can program them. This is the uh, motor controller for the, the NetGain Hyper 9. So it's got a cooling plate underneath it. So it is liquid cooled. So yeah, we have our cooling, little cooling fan and radiator. Super cute little thing, isn't it cute? And uh, you just basically give it 12 volts and then you'll be running your fluid with this pump. We have a Prius pedal. We have a DC-DC converter. Okay, the DC-DC converter takes all your high voltage battery pack juice and steps it down to run all the accessories on your car, which are run at 12 volt. Vacuum pump. Gasoline motors produce their own vacuum, so the brakes are run by vacuum assist. And this creates vacuum with a little electric motor. We have a big, big old switch. Um, should you need to service your vehicle, um, you just turn this off. We have a dilithium uh, little touch screen display. These things are so nice for your batteries. So this is the uh, ECPC 404. These things are awesome and we've used these in all of our vehicles. So even though it's slightly redundant, we'll put one in to make sure because this is like your gas gauge and it gives you a readout of your amps in real time. So a wonderful meter, great invention. Okay, so check out the solar panels that we're gonna be using. So these are semi-flexible panels. They're eight pounds for a 245 watt panel. These cells are American-made sun power cells, the highest efficiency cells on the planet. So with the generation three cells, this puts out about 245 watts. It's got a Teflon coating. There's the skeleton of, of our top. What I'm gonna have to do is build the main frame out of aluminum, and then I'm gonna do two fiberglass caps on the front so I can get the curves that I want to. 
and then the uh, the awnings will s slide in underneath this top curved panel. 